All right, now let's take this uh, tip to a little bit of the next level and add a full navigational bar to jump to each area of, of your app. So I have three sections, the contacts, the details, and the lead data. And I would like to create a navigational link for each. So we'll go to Modify Template, and here is the existing one. Let's rename this Navigation. And now we need to create two more links to uh, cover the other two sections. Now to do this, I'd like to create separate variables for each of these. So say link 1 or link 2, change this to link 3, because this will actually be my last one. So let's organize this a little bit, move that down to the bottom. Link 1 equals details and var link 1 will equal the uh, contacts. See, these are the three different links we will have. Now let's actually create the links. They're going to be identical to what we see here. So we can highlight this, leave off the colon because that signifies the end of the line. And since we're going to be having three links on the same line, we want to leave that at the end. So we can highlight, copy, paste once, change the text.link because we are now using the contacts here. And we want to change this pound sign field data. Now, what I failed to mention in the last video is where you get this value from. Let's go to the uh, the property app, the top level of the property app. And for example, I want to pop down to this contacts field to be the top. Because where you say where you want to pop it down to or jump to, that will end up at the top of the screen. And here I have this, this mark right here. Podio doesn't use that mark. It assigns that field a specific ID value. And to get that ID value, we have to go back to the top level of the app, hit the wrench, go to Developer, scroll down to the bottom where the field starts. And now here's a list of all the fields. And you'll notice this is the label. So we can come down here, and we know that this is the label of that contacts header. And they actually call it field 8, field dash 8. And that is what we need to put after the dash, or after the pound sign. So we can copy that, come back over to our calculation field, and paste that here. So now we have unique ID field dash 8. And now we'll add a, a, a link separator. This is just for visual use. I like to use the vertical line. And to add that in there, you do plus, quote, vertical line, quote, and then plus again, because we're going to need to add this link to the next link that we're putting in. So let's highlight this, copy it, go down to the next line, and paste that in. And now we're going to use, in this case, link 2, which is the details. So link 2 and details. Oh, I apologize, this should be link 1. And this one, text, should be link 3. Remember, we changed that in the beginning. So we have link 1, link 2, and link 3. And now for link 2, we need to get the details headers ID. So let's go back to that the developer area, and the details section will be down here. So in this case, it's actually called property details. So we'll copy that, come back here, paste that in. So now we're jumping to property details. And link three, and this is lead data.
So, so that's how you get all this information. And now you're seeing, oops, sorry, you're seeing that there's a syntax error, unexpected token, illegal. What that means here, in this case, is since we highlighted this area right here, cut, pasted it, this unique ID does not paste. You have to retype that in every time. So, highlight, start retyping, select it from the drop down. We'll do this again. Unique ID, unique ID, and bam, here's the full preview of what we'll get. And this should now light a jump from one area to the next. So, done. See how that looks? It's pretty nice. So we can jump to the contacts, hopefully, like right there. And we can jump to details. That looks like I used the wrong field. We actually use this one. We can go back in and fix that. It's a good example. So modify template. Let's go here. So I used here. We actually should have used this one, and it's called calculation. So copy that. Adjust this field right here. Paste. Now done. Let's test it again. Details. And there we go. Pops to the details section. It's good that you see that to maybe help you figure out some errors or issues. So it's pretty cool. And now back, we'll check the lead data again and it pops to the lead data. So I, that's how. It, you can set up a navigation, and then this will apply to every lead. We pop in here. There it is. Jump to the details. There you go. I mean, you could even do better and add a, a link jump to uh, the header here to say go back to top. That would help, too, because you can just jump down, jump up, jump down to the next section, jump up. I mean, it becomes valuable when you get like 50 fields as well. I have a form like that, and it, it really helps me when I'm talking to, uh, to someone on the phone that they're starting to give me their mortgage detail information. I can just jump into the app, the lead field, the item, click mortgage information. It pops me down to the mortgage information, and I can start typing it in. So I know when I'm on the phone, if I'm trying to hunt for something and listen to people, I some reason go blind and can't see the field that I'm looking for. So I know this will be helpful for you. If you have any questions, comments, or ways to improve on my, my little tip, please feel free to leave a message or send me an email. Thank you.